That'll leave a mark. And the knuckles connect. Ouch! Triple H, not happy about that. The number one contender seems to need to be the World Heavyweight Champion to even exist in WWE. He needs it to simply survive. Well, that's Shawn Michaels' assumption. We heard Shawn Michaels say that about Triple H, and he certainly believes it. Well, that's what this is all about. With Triple H wanting this title as badly as he does, you have to wonder if he's able to separate his will to be the World Heavyweight Champion from his personal animosity for the man he considered his best friend. I don't know, Cole, but let me tell you one thing. I don't think Triple H just wants to beat Shawn Michaels. I think he wants to drag this thing out and embarrass him in the process. Triple H, for so long, lived in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find it interesting that before Shawn Michaels was injured, Triple H had two title reigns. When Shawn Michaels got hurt and had to sit down for four years, Triple H had ten title reigns. Well, I think that what you just said proves Triple H's point. When Shawn Michaels went away, Triple H became the man. Triple H didn't care how he becomes champion, as long as he is the champion. Oh, and a good point, King, but he's got some serious work to do if he's going to become a champion tonight. Exactly. Oh, good Lord, stop this. For the love of God, somebody stop him. Well, say what you will about his size and strength, but is there anyone smarter than Triple H? Nobody uses his mind in the ring more wisely than the cerebral assassin. And sometimes it's an evil mind, King, but Shawn Michaels is no saint himself. He can be as controversial and break as many rules in the ring as anybody. And with the cold, calculating minds of both Triple H and Shawn Michaels that we were talking about, a three stages of hell match becomes an unbelievably dangerous contest. And the longer this match goes in this barbaric environment, the more it is going to shorten the career and take more and more out of each man. a shot that could drop a grizzly. You have to respect the confidence and poise Triple H is showing. Nice reversal there. Triple H, the number one contender, seems to need to be the World Heavyweight Champion to even exist in WWE. He needs it to simply survive. Well, that's Shawn Michaels' assumption. We heard Shawn Michaels say that about Triple H, and he certainly believes it. Well, that's what this is all about. With Triple H wanting this title as badly as he does, you have to wonder if he's able to separate his will to be the World Heavyweight Champion from his personal animosity for the man he considered his best friend. I don't know, Cole, but let me tell you one thing. I don't think Triple H just wants to beat Shawn Michaels. I think he wants to drag this thing out and embarrass him in the process. Triple H, for so long, lived in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find it interesting that before Shawn Michaels was injured, Triple H had two title reigns. When Shawn Michaels got hurt and had to sit down for four years, Triple H had ten title reigns. Well, I think that what you just said proves Triple H's point. When Shawn Michaels went away, Triple H became the man. Triple H didn't care how he becomes champion, as long as he is the champion. Oh, and a good point, King, but he's got some serious work to do if he's going to become a champion tonight. It's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant to so many in the WWE Universe. Away from the ring for over four years, King, after severely injuring his back all the way back in 1998. Well, I realize all that, but was it a smart decision for him to make this comeback? I mean, could it cost him his health in later years? Well, it might, but it's something Shawn Michaels had to do. HBK is a proud athlete with the soul of a warrior. 
if there's anybody in the game who knows the strengths and weaknesses of Shawn Michaels, it is the game. And Triple H won't hesitate to target those weak spots. Well, we all remember his vicious sledgehammer attack after Shawn Michaels beat Triple H at SummerSlam just a few months ago. Man, I used to never see this happen to HBK. I'd never see the showstopper get beat up like this. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be? Or is it just a testament to the cerebral assassin's ability? Well, you know, it's probably a little bit of both. And if HBK or the showstopper really is half a step slower, believe me, the cerebral assassin is going to take every advantage of it. And again, the showstopper heading to the top. Look out! And there's the elbow drop by Michaels. Oh, Shawn Michaels wants to inflict some punt. This has been a punishing match. Hey, wait a minute. What is, what is, what is Flair doing? Flair has just opened the case inside the cage. Flair has no business being in that cage. That dirty SOB. Well, he may regret getting in the cage if you ask me. Look at this. Oh! Look at this! His face being grinded like a, like a cheese grinder! No! No! Oh! Shawn Michaels taking it today. Meanwhile, Triple H taking advantage of the distraction. Whoa! Oh. Pedigree back body drop for Michaels. Oh. Chin music! Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on the Nature Boy, and now the game and Nate are down. Not this. That's it. He's out. Uh oh, big move coming. Look out! Now that's a finishing move, people. One, two, three. And he hits the neck breaker. Going all the way up. Whoa, whoa! Here comes some offense from Triple H. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. A quick punch to the gut. Great reversal. If there's anybody in the game who knows the strengths and weaknesses of Shawn Michaels, it is the game. And Triple H won't hesitate to target those weak spots. Well, we all remember his vicious sledgehammer attack after Shawn Michaels beat Triple H at SummerSlam just a few months ago. Did it. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. And down he goes. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. Oh, wow. That elbow did some damage. Reversal. This is such a personal matchup. Yes, it's for what many consider the richest prize in our business, the World Heavyweight title. But there's more to it than that. Oh, you better believe it. Shawn Michaels and Triple H at one time were best of friends. I mean, they were like brothers. But those days are long, long gone, Cole. They've come to an end. I can't state it strongly enough. There is pure, unadulterated hatred between Shawn Michaels and Triple H. I know. You can see it in their faces, Cole. These two men want nothing less than to completely destroy each other. It's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant for so many in the WWE Universe. Away from the ring for over four years, King, after severely injuring his back all the way back in 1998. Well, I realize all that. But was it a smart decision for him to make this comeback? I mean, could it cost him his health in later years? Well, it might, but it's something Shawn Michaels had to do. 
HBK is a proud athlete with the soul of a warrior. Triple H for so long lived in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find it interesting that before Shawn Michaels was injured, Triple H had two title reigns. When Shawn Michaels got hurt and had to sit down for four years, Triple H had ten title reigns. Well, I think that what you just said proves Triple H's point. When Shawn Michaels went away, Triple H became the man. Triple H didn't care how he becomes champion, as long as he is the champion. Oh, and a good point, King, but he's got some serious work to do if he's going to become a champion tonight. Oh, Shawn Michaels wants to inflict some punishment. He wants to humiliate Triple H. The showstopper has shown up. Well, just as Triple H wanted to cripple Shawn Michaels to put HBK back in a wheelchair, Shawn Michaels would love to do the same thing to the game. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised to see Shawn Michaels drive that semi in here and try to jump off of it again, just like he did last week. Triple H, the number one contender, seems to need to be the World Heavyweight Champion to even exist in WWE. He needs it to simply survive. Well, that's Shawn Michaels' assumption. We heard Shawn Michaels say that about Triple H, and he certainly believes it. Well, that's what this is all about. With Triple H wanting this title as badly as he does, you have to wonder if he's able to separate his will to be the World Heavyweight Champion from his personal animosity for the man he considered his best friend. I don't know, Cole, but let me tell you one thing. I don't think Triple H just wants to beat Shawn Michaels. I think he wants to drag this thing out and embarrass him in the process. And the showstopper connects. Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be so unpredictable. Feeling that one. Whoa! This is bad. Honestly, Max. Hey, wait a minute. What is, what is, what is Flair doing? The Flair has just opened the case inside the cage. Flair has no business being in that cage. That dirty SOB. Well, he may regret getting in the cage if you ask me. Look at this. Oh! Now yeah, Rick Flair sits face first into that steel cage. And look at this. His face being grinded like a. He's grinder. No. No. Oh. Shawn Michaels taking it today. Meanwhile, Triple H taking advantage of the distraction. Whoa. With the pedigree, back body drop for Michaels. Oh. Chin music. Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on the Nature Boy, and now the game and Nature are down. He thinks he has it. Two. No, he kicks out at two. Atomic drop. out what's going on here. Wow, what a sequence. Man, I used to never see this happen to HBK. I, his shoulders are down. Oh, this is a good vintage Triple H. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. And that was a huge counter. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. He leaps into the air for a flying forearm. There's a teeth-shattering super kick. This could do it. Two. Oh, it's Shawn Michaels, and he's even things up. The winner of this fall, evening this bout at one fall apiece, Shawn Michaels. Both these superstars are spent, but Shawn Michaels has got it back to even. Now, wait a minute. And now, the third and deciding fall will be contested as a ladder match. Oh, my gosh. 
Once again, it goes from bad to worse.